it again. Sorry, but I don't really have time to chat right now. Oh, come to think of it, I haven't seen Twirly Whirly in a long time. Ah, uh, but no, now's not the time for that. I was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. I should have been done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Well... Uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now. But who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Ah... Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Oh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis, keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the Darshan by now. Huh? What's that? A fungus with a long beard? Uh, there's no such thing. Though, if there were, I'd love to give it a pat or two. Ah, oh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. <sighs> Due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework somehow finished before the deadline, and my papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. Maybe the stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. <sighs> but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving... One step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me? Oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis. At this rate, I'll need the Wisdom Seelie's help. Yes, but time's of the essence, so I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry. 
I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Seely is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question and you'll get a response a short while later. Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Seely. But getting an answer all comes down to the Seely's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is oh, better than doing nothing. Oh, really? But I don't want to take up your time. Sorry for the bother. You're too kind. Okay, let's go give it a try. I've already prepared my question for the Sealy. Oh, I just hope it can help me get through this predicament. Among the countless legends surrounding the House of Dana, the Wisdom Sealy is one of the more popular ones lately. It hasn't been around for long, but word of the Sealy's existence spread like wildfire. Many people have claimed that they've received a reply from it. So, it should probably help me as well, right? I don't know its name, and we have to keep our voices down in the house of Dana. Oh, or else you'll get some scary glares from the Mahamada. Let's split up and ask around about the Sealy. Hopefully, someone knows something more. Squall of Fury. Uh, excuse me, uh, have you ever heard of the Wisdom Sealy? <laughs> You've come to the right person. I came across this legend not too long ago myself. After hearing about it, I decided to test it out and ask it a question about the brightness of the stars. Two days later, I got a response. It included two pages of detailed and accurate information. It saved me from having to look up a ton of resources. <laughs> yeah, so I submitted another question a few days ago. I still haven't received a reply, though. That sounds like what others have said, but... <sighs> I don't have the time to wait for a reply if the Sealy doesn't answer right away. Uh, whatever. Uh, can you please tell me how to submit a question to the Wisdom Sealy? It's quite simple. Go to the bookshelf over there and find either Theoretical Astrology or a Quick Reference Guide to Astrology Cases. Oh, I know where those are. My Darshan has us use those two books quite often. Okay, so write your question in a letter addressed to the Wisdom Seely, and then insert the letter into one of the books. Come back in a day or two, and if you see a red stamp on your letter, that means the Wisdom Seely has replied. However, if the stamp never appears, then that means the Seely doesn't want to answer your question. I see. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go write down my question. Hopefully the Seely replies. Behold! Quit following me! Huh. 
Finally, I wrote out my question and put it in the book. Uh, wait, I guess. Let's give it some time. I'll come back tomorrow to check on it. Uh, don't worry about me if you have other things to do. I see. <sighs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright then, let's meet up here tomorrow. I really hope this silly replies. Time to look at the letter. Please let there be a stamp. Please let there be a stamp. Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. The silly responded. Fantastic! Ah, this is wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Oh, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am. Uh, let's take a look at what it wrote. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a response, uh, I cannot answer your query due to your questionable motives. Uh, uh, questionable motives? Uh, me? Uh, uh, wait, huh? Okay, uh, let's see. Completing a thesis requires independent thought and work. You planned on using my knowledge to complete your paper's most critical portions. That's not right. However, considering that your deadline is fast approaching, and that there is substance to the content in the completed sections of your thesis, I've decided to help you nonetheless. Follow the hints I've left, and you will find the answer to your question. Consider the effort you put into thinking and searching as your payment for my knowledge. What the... It's absolutely right about everything. Oh, I'm starting to feel guilty now. I can't deny any of it. But I'm running out of time. Oh, what should I do? Huh? Uh... I could tell you're a very kind person, but... I never expected that you'd go this far to help me. I'll definitely think of a way to make it up to you once I take care of my thesis. Okay, let's start by looking at the hint it left us. It should be on the second page. The first clue lies hidden on the Road of Wisdom. The headstrong child finally sees the world for how big it truly is. Filled with awe, yet struck with fear. Uh, that's it? Uh, not even a picture or any other marking to go off of. Oh, this is pretty abstract. What's this road of wisdom and who's the child? Hmm, possibly. That sounds like a natural conclusion. So, is the road of wisdom the road that leads to the academia then? Wait, I think I get what it means by the child and awe and fear. When I first left home, it took me days to reach Sumeru City. Oh, I was completely shocked when I first saw it with my own eyes. It was so grand and awe-inspiring. Pictures of the city simply don't do it any justice. After seeing the city, a thought popped into my head. Am I really worthy of this place? Worry, fear, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm, if I'm connecting the dots correctly, then I think I know where the Celia is leading us. But 
How does it know my feelings so well? Uh, you have a point. There's nothing special about my background or experiences. It could be anyone's. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look. Traveled to Sumeru City. Ah, oh, it's been way too long since I last visited home. Uh, no, no, this isn't the time for that kind of talk. Ah, oh, we have to hurry and find the clues that the seal you left behind. Ah, uh, it is. Relying solely on what the seal he said might not be viable. Hmm. Assuming the silly is intentionally linking the clues to my past, uh, I think I have an idea. Uh, um, so this is a little embarrassing. At that time, the sight of Sumeru City was absolutely mesmerizing. I was anxious, but also excited about all the things to come. I was distracted and... Accidentally stepped on a video leopard's tail. I didn't notice it at all. Oh, the poor thing was sound asleep, and after I stepped on its tail, it bolted straight up. I freaked out and ran as fast as I could. There were actually more video leopards sleeping nearby, and they were all faster than me. I almost got bitten a couple of times. Good thing someone from the Aramites heard me shouting for help. Uh, they managed to scare off the leopards. Yeah, but when I finally managed to calm myself down, I noticed that the talisman my mother had made for me was missing. It's extremely precious to me. Ever since I was little, I would always carry it with me whenever I'm doing something important. I also had it with me when the Academia conducted its selection exam at my village. Oh, I checked my bag at least a dozen times to make sure the talisman was in there. I feel much more at ease knowing that I have it with me. I had thought that it would also help me calm my nerves in Sumeru City. But I ended up losing it before I even finished registration at the academia. Yeah, and that's when I started having sleeping problems. Oh, I just began to sleep less and less each day. Losing a talisman like that is definitely a bad omen. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm starting to ramble again. Uh, what were we talking about before? Uh, all right. Why the silly led us here? I think we should look around where the Avidia leopards attacked me. If the silly is trying to make me remember things that happened in the past, it would make the most sense for it to hide clues in memorable locations. Oh, hope the silly's clue wasn't also torn to shreds by a video leopards. Yeah, uh, that's the only way we'll know for sure. Oh, we should be close. Sure enough, it's here, and in a really obvious 
this place. Hmm. That pretty much confirms my hunch about this Seelie's intentions. Uh, I don't know. But how did it know about all these details? I've hardly told anyone about this stuff. Uh, uh, it's not hiding somewhere and spying on me, is it? Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, anyway, let's look at the clue we found. Um, seems like you haven't forgotten about your very first failure. Ah, uh, see? It knows everything. Aw, oh, I have no idea what's going on. No wonder the seal is becoming legendary. Ah, oh, let's keep reading the clue. Ahem. <clears throat> I've placed the second clue where heaven meets water. The answer, seemingly amongst the stars, was ultimately washed to some unremarkable place downstream. Oh, just as I thought. It's something to do with me again. If the first clue was any indication, then the location described in this clue should also be related to my life experiences. Most Ritawahist research is related to studying the stars. Uh, my own thesis work often requires me to go in the field and collect astrological data. And, uh, let's just say there's another devastating and unforgettable failure I had. Uh, but that can't be helped, right? We do many things not because we want to, but uh, because we have to. Uh, let's keep moving. It might be hard to believe... my first field observation after enrolling at the academia. I borrowed some equipment from the school and came here. Everything was ready to go and I was positive that I'd be able to get some great data. But the equipment was a little heavy and I didn't notice that the ground was muddy and some spots were unstable. After I finished setting up everything, part of the ground suddenly shifted and my equipment started teetering over. I rushed over to grab hold of it, but I ended up tripping over another piece of equipment. The next thing I knew, everything was covered with muddy water. Oh, me and all my equipment. You must be wondering how someone can be so clumsy. Uh, you wouldn't be wrong for thinking that. I don't sleep much, so I get lightheaded pretty often. Oh, it's a vicious cycle. The less I sleep, the more mistakes I make. The more mistakes I make, the harder it is for me to sleep. Uh, I just got a minor fracture, so I had to rest at Bimarstan for a while. Aw, to pay off the damages to the equipment, I took some part-time jobs. I just went to work whenever I couldn't sleep. It took me forever to pay off what I owed. Bingo. Aww. The pressure from my studies and debt was crushing me, and I didn't want to tell my family about any of it. After all, I am the legendary Layla who made it into the academia at a young age. Oh, and had never failed an assignment in her life. Of course, 
I've even considered giving up on my studies completely and returning home to help care for the Sumter Beast, but that would be kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't mean that I'd be embarrassed in front of others. Uh, I mean that I'd be ashamed of myself. After all, everything I've done up till now is only a result of my own decisions. Although, it hasn't always been smooth sailing, and sometimes things don't go my way. I made it this far on my own. There haven't been any major incidents with my studies, and I even managed to pay off the equipment damages. Uh, but I guess I'm exaggerating a bit. Most of it is still due to the help of some unknown person rather than my own work. <laughs> and that's exactly why they mustn't ever find out. Once I finally manage to acclimate to life in Sumeru City, I'll show them my success. Oh, I hope that day will come eventually. Anyways... Let's continue looking for the next clue. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. An unremarkable place downstream was the description. Squall and Fury! It's over here. Oh, good thing it's dry. I was worried the message might be wet. Let's see. Have you found it? The unremarkable place downstream. Well, of course. How else could I be reading this message? Seriously. <clears throat> I've placed the third hint at a crossroad without a cross. You can turn left or right, but turning back shouldn't be an option. Huh, they're actually getting clearer for me. I was sort of expecting this even before I read the message. I don't know if the clues are following a timeline or if they're based on the amount of regret I have. Either way, this incident was bound to come up sooner or later. Huh... Would someone really go to all this trouble just to pull off some prank? Uh, I can't make heads or tails of it. Anyway, just follow me. I'll save the story for when we get there. the place that immediately came to mind when the hint mentioned a crossroad. I came here to conduct some astrological observation once. Everything went smoothly on the way, and I thought I was starting to get used to life at the academia. But just as I was about to set up the observation equipment, I heard a strange sound coming from nearby. I made my way here, and discovered a bunch of bandits robbing someone. They were a group of treasure hoarders, and the family that was being mugged looked completely helpless. They definitely wouldn't have been able to escape, and simply handing over their mora might not have been enough to make the bandits go away. Not exactly. I already had a vision by that time. 
someone with a vision should technically be really powerful, right? Handling a group of treasure hoarders should be well within my abilities. However, I didn't know how to channel the power of the elements to fight at that time, and I was super scared. Mm. I wielded immense power, but I didn't feel any stronger than just an ordinary person. Then, I ran away. I scrambled towards Sumeru City looking for help. Eventually, I managed to return with a few adventures I ran into along the way. It took longer than I had hoped, and by the time we made it back here, the treasure hoarders and the family were gone. I don't know if the family only lost their belongings in the end, or if something worse happened to them. Oh, I faced a lot of problems after coming to Sumeru City, but this incident is one that I regret the most. I sat on the ground and, and began to cry. I could have stepped in to help that family. W would it have ended differently if, if I were just a little braver? Oh, thank you for trying to comfort me, but I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said, turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with a challenge. Uh, you're right. The more challenging it gets, the harder I should try. <sighs> I'm feeling calmer now. Ah, okay. Let's go look for more leads nearby. We're probably getting close now. Let's search this area. Ah, here it is, just as I thought. The ceiling. Let's see what we have this time. Wow, whatever it is, I'm ready. Uh, huh? It's a picture? Uh, guess not. This house looks like it's in Vimara Village. Does the Sealy want us to go there? Uh, I can't think of any connection I have with Vimara Village, though. I've only been there once, and it was pretty uneventful. Uh, whatever the case, the only way we'll know is if we go there. Uh, thanks, but I'm fine. I'm used to pushing my limits. I know how far I can go. Place. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Uh, maybe the Sealy didn't prepare anything for us this time. Uh, or does it want us to knock on the door first? Uh, if we're wrong about this, it'll be super awkward. Uh, you're right. I can't always be like this. 
Uh, sometimes it's better to take action than overthink every little thing. Uh, uh, uh hello? Is anyone home? Coming! Just a moment. Oh, it's you, Layla. How nice of you to stop by again. Uh, huh? Do, do you know me? <laughs> That's no way to greet a friend. Of course I know you. Is this a friend of yours? Or perhaps a classmate? Uh, a friend. We, um, I'm having a little trouble with my thesis and we happened to be passing by. Uh, I don't know either. I don't even know where to begin. I recognized him immediately. He's one of the people that was getting robbed by the treasure hoarders. But he shouldn't know anything about me. He shouldn't even know who I am. Ah, uh, yeah, but that was before the robbery. I was just passing through. Even if he saw me, he would know who I am. He didn't notice me during the robbery. Is something the matter? Uh, I appreciate your kindness, but I really can't remember how we met. Uh, I'm sorry. So you aren't joking? Do you still remember when my family and I were being robbed by a gang of treasure hoarders? Yes, but I don't think I was of much help to you all. How so? You told us everything yourself the last time we met. My family and I were surrounded by treasure hoarders, and I didn't know what to do. But then, we heard people approaching in the distance. Those treasure hoarders were the first to hear them coming, and started to flee the moment they sensed the situation wasn't going their way. They didn't even bother taking anything with them. I wasn't sure what had happened, but the treasure hoarders were scared off. I immediately grabbed my wife and child and got out of there. Oh, uh, I see. Uh... I'm so glad that you and your family were unharmed. I thought it was a party of adventurers that happened to pass by, but later you told me that you had spotted us and ran to find help. You were amazing. You managed to keep a level head even in the midst of danger. I know you have a vision, so those treasure hoarders wouldn't have been a match for you, but they might have harmed me and my family if their backs were pushed against the wall. Uh, wait. That's not exactly what happened. I still regret not helping out sooner. Uh, anyway, uh, when did I come here last? I don't seem to remember. Hmm, it's been some time, but not too long ago. I don't recall exactly when. What's wrong? Nothing's coming to mind? Uh, nope. I'm sorry. I still can't seem to remember, even after everything you've told me. Maybe I'm just under too much pressure. You came over and ate with us, and you played games with my son. <sighs> if only we had taken a picture. Oh! You forgot a package here from that visit. You'll definitely remember once you see it. Wait here. I'll go fetch it. Uh, a package? I left a package here? Ah, wait! This is it! This is the talisman that I lost, the one that my mother made for me. Ah, yes, this is definitely it. She made it herself. It's the only one of its kind. Ah, uh, there's also a letter here. Was I planning to send it to someone? Uh, let's see who the recipient is. To Layla? <gasps> uh, no! I swear I've never done anything like that. Oh, uh, what is going on? Uh, let's open it and see what this is all about. <clears throat> Hello, Layla. It must have been quite the endeavor to follow the Seelie's hints all the way here. 
great work. Self-reflection is a wonderful quality to possess, but you'll only end up hurting yourself if you overdo it. Failure is a stranger to no one. The purpose of self-reflection is not to indulge in the pain of failure, but to succeed in your next attempt. If you're reading this letter, then you have succeeded in taking the first step. On the back of this letter is the core information that your thesis is lacking. It's actually been done for a while now. It only feels inconclusive because it's missing a concise summary to tie it all together. I hope that this journey has provided insight for your life ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you courage as you carry onward and hope that you fulfill the expectations you hold. Always watching over you. Sincerely, the Wisdom Sealy. Oh. <laughs> I thought. I thought we were going to fail. I thought that. Everything we did and all the time we spent was for nothing. But. The Sealy wasn't messing with me after all. Uh, I doubt it. I mean, unless I somehow came here while I was unconscious and don't remember it. Although, having said that, I have heard rumors claiming that I sleepwalk a lot. Hmm. But even then, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm actually the Wisdom Sealy. It could have just helped me while I was sleepwalking. Uh, I'll write back and ask to meet with the Sealy and see how it responds. Even though I still have a lot of questions, this experience was fruitful enough. If it wasn't for your encouragement, I probably would have quit halfway through and holed up in the academia somewhere. Uh, perseverance really does pay off. I'm not sure if I understand what has happened, but it's something good, right? Yes, it's something really, really good, and I'm very thankful for it. Well then, since you're already here, why don't you stay and have something to eat? We just finished preparing some food. Oh, oh, uh... Come on, don't be a stranger. Your friend should join us as well. You can leave your troubles until after the meal. You must relax and gather your strength so you can take on the challenges ahead, am I right? All right, thank you all. I can do this. Following me. Huh. This is the place that immediately came to mind when they I came here to conduct, but just they were a group of treasure, not somewhat. However, I didn't then. Eventually, it took longer. I don't know if the. Oh, I could have stepped in to help that family. W would it have ended differently if. If I were just a little briefer... Oh, thank you for trying. It's just as the silly s Oh, but, but what about my thesis? Oh, we still haven't found the silly's answer yet. Oh, sorry for causing you so much trouble. All right, I... I uh, actually don't have much stamina. 
I've been stressed this whole time, and I feel exhausted. I'm really sorry. Up here. I don't think I can walk any further. All right. I'm gonna give my legs a rest. I'll be waiting for you here. I feel bad for making you go through so much trouble for me. Oh, if only I were more capable. I'm sorry. <sighs> I always find myself having to apologize. Uh, but enough of that. I need to pull myself together. The memories I've been reminded of are all really taxing. Uh, I cannot just give up this time, even if my head's not in a good place. Letting these heavy feelings get the best of me will only slow us down. Ah! Watch out! Behind you! Monsters! A lot of them, too. Why didn't we see them coming? Uh, no, I'll fight, too. But I want to help. I can't just sit back and watch you while you fight. Uh, don't worry, I can handle myself. I mustn't keep repeating my past regrets. That's the most valuable lesson I've learned today. I should take action when I'm needed and give it my all when the moment calls. If you miss those opportunities in life, you may never get another chance to make up for them. Huh. I suppose that's fate. Alright, let's take them all down. Everyone hold hands! Huh? Oh. Let me leave you a verse. No, my sword! Bow your head! Rain outlines your fate. No, my sword. Witness the power of ah! Squall and Fury. <sighs> I really need to keep up with my training. It's embarrassing to be out of breath so quickly like this. Well. The only appropriate response would be to say that I'm fine, right? Oh, I'm pale due to lack of sleep, not because of the fight. But then again, I know you'd be able to see right through those words. Oh, I'm feeling weak. There's no hiding it. I'm just happy I didn't get in your way during the fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks for the compliment. I sure don't get to hear that often. Although, I may not be physically strong, my will is as resilient as they come. I'll be fine after I rest for a bit. Can you stay with me while I recover my energy? Oh, it shouldn't take long. On the gale. Finally, 
come back tomorrow. I see. All right. Time to... Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. Ah, uh, this is wonderful. Uh, let's take a thank you. Uh, uh, okay, however, follow, consider, what? It's, uh, but I'm re- Aw, oh, good point. Why else would it use such a roundabout way to tell me its answer? Supposedly, everyone who's been pranked by the silly had angered it in some way. That means the silly is someone who's very strict and serious about knowledge. Uh, but who knows if it's really a silly or some person. True, and if I don't get an answer, then I'll only have wasted more time. Oh, but there's nothing else we can do. It's the one holding all the cards. It's completely hidden and can choose whether to help us or not. After all, it'd probably be impossible to find it and ask my question in person. Huh? Uh, I was just kidding. Oh, please don't take me seriously. It's a silly we're talking about. According to legend, Sealies are elusive and can create countless copies of themselves. Who's to say that it won't summon a shooting star to crush us once we find it? S sorry I'm just a little panicky. Okay, Layla. Calm down and think. If the Sealy is a person, then there has to be a way to track them down. We have two possible leads right now. Uh, the first is the checkout logs of those two books, and the other is the red stamp. The red stamp bears the Ritawahist emblem, which is used by a lot of people. Uh, it'll be hard to track down an individual, uh, so we should probably start with the checkout logs. Let's go and make an inquiry. We can also ask around the house of Dana and see if anyone else knows something about the wisdom sealy. Swallow Fury! There. Uh, have you heard of the legend of the wisdom, Silly? <sighs> Do I really look like the kind of student that would be interested in such a pointless legend? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We were just curious. Well, I do happen to have some information on it. Huh? Logically, that has nothing to do with the question I asked. I just... I don't want others to see me as some poor excuse for a student whiling away my time in the house of Dana. Uh, I don't really think bad students would come to the house of Dana to pass the time. Uh, but anyways, you were saying? Well, I spend most of my time here, and I have noticed something odd before. One time, late at night, a black shadow fell from above and landed in the central area of the House of Dana. Of course, I was a little sleepy at the time, but it startled me, and I got up to see what was going on. Uh, and then what happened? Then, the shadow quickly circled behind me with incredible speed. Just as I tried to turn around to get a look at it, I fainted. Yes, it was unbelievably fast. I had never seen anything like it. It was so unusual that I wasn't sure if it was real or if I was half dreaming. But given how popular the legend of the Sealy has become lately, maybe this has something to do with it. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but doesn't the House of Dana have a door? It was closed that night. <sighs> I suppose even the House of Dana needs to be closed for maintenance from time to time. 
I see. That makes sense. But what were you doing here if the House of Dana was closed? Don't look so surprised. It's a common practice to find a place to hide before they lock the doors, so you can continue reading books here. Everyone knows that. Uh, anyway, thank you for the info. I'll be sure to take note of everything you mentioned. You're welcome. about the Wisdom Sealy? Yes, of course. I've been looking into it for quite a while now. However, I feel like I'm still missing some key pieces of information. Hey, maybe if we put our heads together, we can figure something out. Uh, sure. I'll try my best. There are a few known traits of the Wisdom Sealy. First, it's extremely strong. It can easily carry a few dozen books, along with four or five pieces of astrology equipment all at once. It's extremely athletic as well. It only moves in a straight line and doesn't stop for anything, not even walls or rivers. Lastly, it has a number of special abilities. It has a hardened metal body that's impervious to injury. It can freeze water into ice, and it can also summon meteors. That doesn't even sound human. Well, it is a legend after all. It's no surprise that some details seem a little exaggerated. But these aren't just made up, you know. Each of its abilities has been confirmed by eyewitnesses. There have been many sightings too, including a Chatrakam cave, the Avidya forest, and around the waterfall south of Sumeru city. Has anyone seen what it actually looks like? Or what kind of person it is? Hmm, not that I know of. No one's been able to get close to it. It seems like it tries to stay out of sight. I would probably want to remain a mystery too, if I were someone as legendary as the Wisdom Sealy. So what do you make of it? Have you seen it somewhere as well? No, we're probably gonna need some time to digest all the... Uh, incredible information you've provided us. <laughs> Not a problem. But if you manage to find anything, be sure to come and tell me about it. I trust that you'll quickly discover the excitement of slowly unraveling the truth. <sighs> There's really no need to fight over such pulses. Upon the gale! Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Uh, uh, hello. I'm a Ritawahi student and would like to see the checkout logs for theoretical astrology and a quick reference guide to astrology cases. Oh, are you also here to investigate the Ritawahist Wisdom Sealy legend? Uh, also? Hmm. I suppose it makes sense that we're not the only ones investigating such a popular legend. <sighs> yes, I myself am also quite curious about it, but unfortunately, I haven't found anything out of the ordinary. Given you're a Ritawahist student, I'm sure you know that a lot of research references these two books. All our copies of these particular titles are frequently checked out. I have looked into it, but found no irregularities in the checkout logs. Is there any chance the Sealy could have taken the books out and returned them without being noticed? Not likely. That would be almost impossible. The House of Dana is extremely strict about the circulation of its books. There will always be a record if a book is checked out. And even if it managed to figure out a way to take the books without leaving any record, it's possible that someone would come looking to borrow the books before the Sealy returned them. If someone discovers that a book is missing or that it doesn't match my inventory records, it would come to my attention immediately. However, it might be possible to pull off in the case of a less popular book. Okay, I understand now, thank you. Ah, uh, this is useful to know. With any luck, it'll help us work out the Sealy's identity. <laughs> Okay, 
Everyone's given us a lot of useful information. Let's go through it and try to organize everything. Some things we heard were pretty straightforward, but others were just... Uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, let me think and see what I can make of it. Uh, okay, calm down, Layla. I know the info's all over the place, but you can definitely do it. First, let's try to figure out the Seelie's identity based on the clues we currently have. Then, we'll analyze where it's been cited and its motives. Finally, we'll piece everything together. From there, we should be able to predict its movement. <sighs> Alright, let's give it a try. Hmm, book circulation is strictly regulated, and there is a log of anyone who checks out a book. The stamp. Hmm, which probably means they're a Ratawahi student. Uh, it once infiltrated the house of Dana while it was closed. Hmm, I think I heard somewhere that it has a lot of ridiculous abilities. It's been to the Chatrakam Cave, the Avidya Forest, and the waterfall south of Sumeru City. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think I've got it now. First, based on the information Katayun provided, we can assume that the Sili is a student from the Ritawahis Darshan. The possibility of it being someone outside the Darshan can be ruled out because it'd be impossible <sighs> to gain access to those two books without going through the librarian. Next, Leaving its crazy abilities aside, all the sightings took place in locations that are officially recommended for astrology observation by the Academia. In other words, it's probably just conducting research, and the nature of its research is very similar to mine. The question that I submitted was no simple query, but it was able to give me a reply in just a day. This implies that it's familiar with a similar field of knowledge. So based on this reasoning, all we have to do is wait for it at the next astrological observation site. Uh, uh it's nothing, really. There are actually some other factors that I've been speculating about. But that's not important right now. Let's get going. Even though we have a lead, it's still hard to say whether we'll be able to make any discoveries. Uh, I'll tell you what I mean by that if the Sealy doesn't show up. <sighs> should be able to see more from up above, but how do we get up there? Hmm, let's try using the elemental monuments in the area. today is perfect for observation. Let's see if it shows up. Honestly, spending an entire night waiting for something that we're not sure is gonna happen? 
might not be the best use of our time, but we don't really have any choice. This is all we've got. Get some sleep if you're tired. I'll be up. It's not like I could sleep anyways. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, how about I share some basics about astrology with you? If you're interested, that is. Hmm. Sure enough, it didn't show up. We hardly saw any animals, let alone people. No matter how conclusive the evidence is or how perfect our reasoning may be, nothing will happen as long as I'm awake. They're probably one and the same. It's like I told you, I have a severe sleeping disorder. And there have been a lot of rumors about me sleepwalking. I tried to understand what I had been doing when I'm unconscious, but... Uh, I've never been able to get any definitive evidence. Something is actively attempting to cover up all the clues without my knowing. Maybe that something is me. Uh, or maybe it isn't. Uh -huh. I can't be sure. For all I know, I could even be the Sealy. But what if I am? Would the Sealy be willing to help me this time? What is it actually thinking? Uh, I really have no idea. Huh? You want to help me? Of course. Of course, it would be nice to know what's really going on, but that's impossible. It's always avoiding me and keeping me in the dark, and that won't change even if you're around. Huh? What's wrong? Yeah... Uh. And to think I could have been working on my thesis this whole time. Uh, my stomach is churning just thinking about it. Uh, please stop. The more you talk about it, the more silly I feel. Oh, oh come on, Layla. What are you doing? Everyone's gonna start thinking you're crazy now. Uh, oh no. I'm losing it. Ugh, so dizzy. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted there. Where were we? Oh, what's wrong? You look like you've got something on your mind. Hmm? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean the other, Layla? I am Layla. Ah. <sighs> Fine. It appears that you were waiting for me to show up. I suppose there's no use in me pretending. I promise I don't mean any harm and I'll answer all your questions. But before that, would you mind telling me who you are first? Let me think. Okay, I got it. You two found this place by following the hints that I left behind. You were planning to wait for me. <laughs> or I should say you were waiting for the Sealy to show up. Was this your idea or hers? I see. Yes, she's always had great analytical skills. It'd be nice if she was more confident, though. <sighs> Alright, that's all the questions I have. Your turn. Please ask away. 
Infiltrating the House of Dana was a total accident. She'd forgotten an important book, and the House of Dana happened to be closed at the time. There were only days before the paper was due. I had no choice but to scale the walls with some simple climbing ropes and sneak in from above while the Corp 30 wasn't paying attention. I had no idea there was still a student inside. I had no choice but to put him to sleep. Any clear evidence of my existence would only hinder my ability to conceal my identity. It would also expose me to Layla as well. As for the special powers, well, they're just things I did during the process of trying to finish the thesis. It's like I said, I don't have much time, so I need to be as efficient as possible. That's right. Though, I didn't intend for it to turn out this way, really. I just wanted to help out a few other classmates who were having a hard time while I was helping Layla finish her thesis. You see, Layla doesn't have many friends at the Academia. If the others noticed her helping them out, I thought maybe I'd help her become more sociable. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out. Instead, Legends of the Seely started going around. <laughs> but that's all right. I can instantly tell which students are asking serious questions and which are just trying to take advantage of me to slack off. My time to move freely is quite limited, so it's only natural that I would punish the people attempting to waste my time. My intention is to help people. I'm not here to cause any harm. Well then, does that answer all your questions? Ah, you see, her emotions are incredibly unstable. She's constantly doubting herself. If she knew that there's another Layla who is capable of doing everything, she may think even less of herself. She could think, maybe I should just leave it all to her. I'm always relying on her anyway. Why not let her live my life for me? She might start thinking about giving up completely, and that's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do for her. After all, she and I are one and the same. We're two sides of the same coin. No one knows her greatest strength more than I do. It's her resilience. If she's able to persevere in everything she does, then one day she won't need my help anymore. I trust that she's capable of doing that, and it's something that she should do on her own. She actually discovered the key data she needs for her thesis a long time ago. She just didn't organize it well enough. I'll complete her thesis for her just as I have in the past. Oh, please don't share any of this with her. I would like to keep this a secret for both of our sakes. Thank you for doing this for me. No, for us. Ah, <sighs> she seems to be waking up now. Well, this is goodbye. If we never meet again, then I guess I did something right. <laughs> Sleepwalking? Uh, I, uh, really? I don't believe you. You're hiding something from me. It's written all over your face. You said you were gonna help me, didn't you? Why are you holding out on me now? Please tell me. Oh, you promised you'd help. Sorry, but I was...
was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana. I should have been done with the fr Well, but... Uh, I should probably notify my advice, to be honest. I have lack of sleep. I've seen... Oh... Uh, no. All my friends are back home. I'm the only one who got to come study at the academia. Ah, uh, this might sound strange, but I actually... Uh, due to my... Yeah, uh, but that's... I really don't know what's going... Maybe the stars above decided to help out... Uh, but there's no point. It comes down to my own... Oh no. Uh, yes, but... The, uh, if you want its help, I... Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's by getting an answer all comes... Uh, all I can... Uh, I'm trying my luck. Hmm, you're right. I need to keep a level head. Uh, I don't have time to waste. But what do we do from here? I can't just go back and start packing to leave. Rest? But my deadline's just around the corner. Oh, I don't think I can afford to rest right now. Uh, you do have a point. Oh, sorry. I tend to panic easily, as you can see. Then how should I rest? I definitely won't be able to sleep. As soon as I close my eyes, all kinds of thoughts start floating into my head. Oh, that's a good idea. A cup of coffee might help clear my head. Let's go. The wind rises upon the gale. <laughs> Too slow. Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. It'll help me put my thoughts together. Uh, no. We're here to rest. My problems will have to wait for now. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. We just submitted our theses and we're totally beat. Everyone will be meeting here to celebrate. Seeing how relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... I'm actually having a lot of trouble with it. You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always well-written and thorough. Your advisor is constantly praising your work. Yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of talk doesn't reflect your work at all, you know. Well, uh, I... For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. 
It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me, uh, like you do. Uh, huh? What do you mean? Huh, yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Uh, face it head on? Wh what should I do? Do you really think I can? Uh, oh, okay. I've got a pen and paper with me. Let me go through them real quick. Hmm... The theory sections are pretty much finished. I'll be able to finish organizing the rest of my own. Uh, as of now... I'm missing crucial observation data. I need the results of an observation to validate the conclusion of my thesis. And then there's the preparation for my thesis defense. Oh, I'll need to mentally prepare. What? You want to help me with my thesis? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. Uh, you're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the celestial globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot. So I returned it and haven't been able to borrow it again since. That's why I still haven't performed the necessary observations yet. I don't know what to do. That's right. The celestial globe is a high-precision device used specifically for researching the stars. Submitting an application to borrow one from the Academia is pretty much the only way for me to get my hands on one. Huh? Why the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, I see. The Adventurer's Guild is open to everyone's commission, so she might have some ideas. Okay, uh, let's go and try our luck. Ad Astra Episosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. How can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I have a commission... Um, it's kind of strange. How should I put this? <laughs> right. Equipment at the Academia is in very high demand, and we aren't able to borrow one now. We were hoping someone else might have something similar that we could use. I don't know anything about astrology, so I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the device you were looking for. However, one of our requesters happens to be an astrology enthusiast. I hear that he's a collector of all sorts of specialized astrology equipment. After the Adventurers Guild helped him out, 
He indicated that he'd be happy to return the favor if the adventurers ever need it. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting between you two. That should help solve your problem. R really You're welcome. It's my job to provide adventurers with the necessary support. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. Yes, I am. How may I help you? Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got a little excited. Uh, uh, please go ahead. Hmm. To be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ratawahis student. Uh, well... Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family. Which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate, and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. Sh share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... Uh, you, you're starting to make me feel nervous. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. Uh... Okay, my mind just decided to stray elsewhere for a moment. Give me a second to gather myself. Oh, is this the celestial globe that I needed to borrow? Correct. I was about to test you with a few questions, but you suddenly started looking very uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't sleep very well, so I tend to get a little dizzy from time to time. I'm fine now. Hmm... She seems a little different all of a sudden. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. Well then, uh, can you briefly summarize your area of research for me? With pleasure. I'll give you a general overview. <clears throat> You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of the celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future. Due to the difficulty of designing an experiment and the challenges of validating theories about the past, astrological research is usually based on an immense foundation of experience. And therein lies the largest complexity. Derived and validated conclusions may vary due to subtle changes caused by the flow of time and shifts in the stars. Ah, I've heard about this before. I believe it's known as astral shift. One of the most classic challenges is to use three stars with shifting orbits to predict the overall changes that may have occurred. Ah, are you referring to the triple orbit problem? Yes, that really is a classic problem, and a very difficult one to tackle. I came up with a set of prediction methods that encompass more than half of the triple orbit problems. However, there are quite a few limitations and requirements. This set of methods is already being put into practice at the Ritawa Histarshan by my advisor, drastically simplifying the difficulty of calculations involved in the triple orbit problem. Yes, 
I've heard about that. The announcement made big waves in the astrology enthusiast community. So, you were the one who came up with that? <laughs> you mustn't judge a book by its cover, you know. The thesis I'm working on this time aims to address the remaining triple orbit problems, as well as eliminate a portion of the methodology's limitations, which will make it easier to use. I see. In that case, perhaps there's no one more fitting to operate this device than you. I just keep it as part of a collection, and I can't use it to its full potential like you can. Thank you for understanding. I'll return it in perfect working order once I'm finished with it. Okay, we should be going now. Uh, what did we plan to do after this? I kind of forgot. Huh? What makes you say that? Is there something off about me? Uh, fine. Looks like I can't keep the act up any longer. I even tried to look a little panicky to emulate her behavior. <laughs> I suppose that is what she's been calling me. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and variable sleep patterns are completely out of my control, so I have to make every second count. There's no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. Hmm... I am rather curious about you, though. Why are you trying to help her? Really? That's great! You're helping with all the things that I used to do for her. Seems like you've given her a boost of confidence with your encouragement. She's only steps away from the finish line. Ah, she's already made a lot of progress, so there's no need to push too hard now. Anyway, what's the plan from here? I see. Well, it wouldn't be of any help if I practiced for her, but I'll leave some notes that should come in handy. Come on, let's go back to the house of Dana to make preparations. You'll have to tell her later when she wakes up. Fury. Okay, I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. <laughs> I'm used to multitasking. Oh, and I have to ask a favor. When you give the notes to her later, please don't tell her about my existence. Hmm... Well, she's always been in a fragile state. If she knew that there was another Layla who's always taking care of everything, she might feel like everything she's ever worked for is pointless, and that could lead to some demoralizing thoughts. She's a resilient girl, but no matter how resilient she may be, no one can hold up to criticism and torment from themselves. If her condition grows any worse, it's possible that I might cease to exist as well. Then there wouldn't be anyone to help her. She's getting better though, isn't she? It's apparent how hard she's working now. She's my source of knowledge. I'm merely the representation of how she would be if she were rested and healthy. I believe that she's one of the best, even in a place like the Academia where geniuses come by the handful. But growth is a process and shouldn't be rushed. I will always believe in and support her. <laughs> believe me, even if she were to end up at rock bottom, she'd find a way to somehow laugh it off as one of her silly mistakes and climb her way out. That's the kind of person she is. 
<sighs> all right. I've written down all the possible questions that I think the advisors might ask. Next, I'll put together a few words of encouragement for her. I'm not going to sign it, obviously. Oh, and don't forget about our agreement. Hmm. Uh, Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time, which... It... Oh, uh, How about if you're... <sighs> All right, I'll try. But I can't disclose the actual details to you. Uh, how about a general overview of the research? Uh, would that suffice? Yes, that would be fine. You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future, as well as attempt to summarize the correlating principles, correct? Mm-hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, in short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold, even when considering just a single star. The changes could be resulting from a simple single orbit shift, or it could be a more complex double orbit, or even a triple or quadruple orbit shift. These phenomena have a dramatic effect on astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. Triple orbit? By yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated, but it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star logs and star charts. Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm... <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Uh, do I really look like that sort of person? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. I was a little cautious at first, but now I trust you completely. It would make me extremely happy if my collection could assist a researcher in achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. <sighs> Good thing Azam is willing to hear me out. Really? I was just explaining what it is I'm trying to do. Really? I don't know if you really mean it, but I'm happy to hear that. 
I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own, too. Let's continue with the plan. Can you help me with the rehearsal of my thesis defense? We can do that at the House of Dina. Search for <laughs> too slow. This seems like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. Uh, that's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. Uh, wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. All right, ask away. Huh? N no, Wh what is that? Is this something that I didn't prepare for at all? You've got to be joking. I, um, uh, 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 about this question, I, um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling very well. Everything is... Spinning. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I tend to get dizzy from time to time, but don't worry, I'm fine now. Um... What's wrong? Oh, sorry. Can you please repeat the question? I didn't hear you clearly just now. <sighs> all right. I guess the cat's out of the bag. Of all the times to wake up. Uh, you're Layla's friend, right? And from the looks of things, the two of you are preparing for her thesis defense? With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety... However, her unpredictable and very... There's no one... I am rather curious about you, though. Why? Really? That's great. You're... Seems like you've given her a boost of... Co now then, I can't really help her prepare for the thesis defense, so I'll be... Okay, I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're... Oh, and I have to ask... Hmm... Well, sh she might... She's... A, if her condition grows in... She's... She's my... I believe, but growth is a... <laughs> That's the... Uh, I'm not going to... Seems 
like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So, here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. <sighs> That's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So, ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. Uh, wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. Alright, ask away. Uh, sure. The direction of this research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. Um, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page 3. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that... Uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do you have any other questions? <sighs> We're finally done. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm, then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. I guess that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it! Th this is amazing! Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Yeah, it almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it. Or better yet, maybe we could be friends. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. 
that's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. <laughs> Down here and uh, no. oh hey Layla uh, huh I'm one of Layla's classmates I just came by to say hi we just submit seeing how oh you say yet you're always well uh... for starters she doesn't even try to per every time we it's not like uh, I know I know so... whatever there's no point if you think she can uh... I really want to help the... Yeah, it's re... It's actually... Uh, huh? What do you mean? Huh... Yeah... That's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I... The thing is, I'm terrible, and the more nervous I get... C completely relaxed? But we're at a... I know, I know, but... <sighs> All right, no more buts. My life is a mess because of the decisions I've made for myself. I should listen to your advice this time. <sighs> How do I completely relax? Sightseeing. Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. I haven't set foot outside the academia in quite a while. I used to enjoy visiting the rainforest, but it's been a while since I've been there. Maybe a lot has changed. <sighs> okay, why don't we go there and take a look? Fury. <sighs> Even the air here feels more relaxing. I just want to forget about the thesis altogether. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Knowing me, I'd only be able to forget about it for a little while. Uh, this doesn't count as trying to avoid my problems, does it? That's quite the legitimate excuse. Hmm. Uh, no, it's more of an explanation. <laughs> Even I'm starting to get bolder with my words. I grew up in a place like this, looking into the distance now with the... Breeze in my face makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, those were the happiest days. Hmm. I had a bunch of friends back then, and we would go pick wild berries in the woods. No matter what ingredients we found, we would cook them over a fire, and whoever lost one of our games would have to eat all of it. No, it wasn't that bad. It really depended on how lucky you were. Grilled apples and sunsetias are actually quite delicious. Uh, sure. I haven't done that in ages. Uh, let's go. Uh, apples and zaytun peaches were the most popular fruits back then. Oh, and of course, grilled fish is delicious, too. A oh, fish skin releases oils while cooking, which drip into the fire and cause it to burn even brighter.
But we would always get yelled at by the grown-ups if they caught us sneaking into the river to catch fish. What's the big deal? We just want to swim. That's what we used to say. But now that I think about it, it really was quite dangerous. Uh, uh, thank goodness nothing bad ever happened. I think we found enough now, don't you? be enough. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh ingredients. They already smell delicious. I'll be here cleaning the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood for us? to run around in the woods when we were kids. Trees and mud was the world we knew best. It doesn't matter how long I'm away from the forest, I won't ever forget the feeling of running through the trees. Oh, uh, how about you? Can you relate to that feeling? It's almost like not knowing the world will change or ever expecting it to change. Whatever the case, it's a very warm feeling. In the end, I passed the admissions exam, and the life I had led came to an abrupt end. Later, as I sat in a lecture at the academia, my mind started to wander and I began to think about home. It was then that I realized how long it had been since I went back. Ah. <sighs> I can't go back anymore. And other similar thoughts started to come to mind. Uh, I guess I'm still not used to being in the academia yet. Ah, uh, you're right. So we should let go of the past. I sup- hmm. But reminiscing about the carefree life of being a kid sure works wonders for the mind. <sighs> you start missing those moments once you leave them behind, and that's part of moving forward. <sighs> From now on, I'd like to cherish every single day of my life, even when it's not the smoothest of rides. <laughs> I'll take the compliment. A little bit of sugar and a good view really go a long way. For relaxation. I thought it'd be impossible for me to enjoy something like this. <sighs> I thought I'd never be able to get my mind off my thesis. But now, I feel like I'm fully enjoying myself. It's really great. So, what are we doing next? You're right. I've been doing research for so long that I'm used to having a certain routine. A carefree stroll. Ha! Huh. I like the sound of that. Such 
such a large lake here. Oh, it's so beautiful. The feeling of cool lake water can wash away all your troubles. Uh, can you wait for a minute? I'd like to wash my face. I think it'd be refreshing. Uh, huh? A swim? I can't remember the last time I went swimming. I might not even know how to anymore. Um, okay. I'll try to swim over there. Wait, no, no, no. I'll definitely lose. Hmm, <sighs> no. Forget about winning or losing, Layla. It'll be fun either way. Uh, wait, we're starting already? to beat an adventure at something like this. Uh, really? <laughs> Among my childhood friends, I was considered one of the more athletic ones. But that's just like how I used to think that I had a gift for learning. After coming to Sumeru City, I realized that I only thought that because my hometown is such a small place. On top of that, I'm getting weaker and weaker because I'm barely able to sleep nowadays. There's no way I can bring myself to brag about anything now. Uh, please, you're always encouraging me. I'm starting to feel embarrassed. But swimming again really feels great. Every muscle in my body was engaged. I probably wouldn't have to worry about my thesis if I turned into a fish, don't you think? Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. I'm sure fish have worries of their own. I'm quite content with how things are right now. Uh, let's keep going, shall we? There's a mushroom here. You want to jump on it to see what's up there? Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I kind of want to give it a try. Search for it. Following me, Squall Fury. <sighs> We've walked pretty far now, but I barely felt the time passing by. Ah, I've been staring at books in my thesis every day. I've forgotten how nice and happy life actually can be. Ah. Oh, you're right. No matter how much of a hard time I'm having in academics, I should still find the time to look after myself and fulfill my needs. You really understand more about life than I do. Release my stress? Oh, I see what you mean. 
Being at the top of a mountain really does make someone want to yell out loud. Uh, but it's a little uncivilized, isn't it? Uh, alright, I'll give it a try. Just promise not to laugh, okay? Like my entire body is bubbling with excitement after yelling like that. This happiness was so common as a child, but before I knew it, this feeling was buried in the bottom of my heart. Ah, oh, it's getting late. Uh, why don't we rest here for a while? Uh, I'll tell you some interesting astrology stuff when the stars come out. Oh, but it's alright if you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff. We can also tell jokes about life, or talk about anything you're interested in. Uh, okay, then I'll tell you more about me. The only reason I ever chose to study astrology is because of how beautiful the stars are at night. Uh, that's all. My teacher told me that nature possesses a certain power that grants people an equal amount of kindness and fairness, regardless of the different talents they may possess. And that's why I wanted to call the kind person who's always helping me as the blessing from the stars. Ah, <sighs> the stars in the sky are something that brings happiness to people. Uh, everything about home is filled with purity and passion. My memories of that place are wonderful. I never want to forget them. If I were to ever discard anything so pure, I don't think I'd ever be able to find a place to anchor myself in the vast sea of knowledge. Uh, that's why, no matter how tiring or how hard it gets, uh, I won't let my family down. They're already... Yeah. Thank goodness you were there to help me out, or I don't know where I would have ended up. <sighs> we probably still have a while until the stars come out. <sighs> Only kids sit around like this, waiting for the stars to appear. Thank you. 